Hi, this is Scott with Alloy LED. In this video, we're going to show you how to link your smartphone with the Wi-Fi LED controller hub. The Wi-Fi hub is a great option for wireless LED lighting control because you can control up to eight unique zones of LED lights. You can connect this Wi-Fi hub wirelessly to your receiver or you can hardwire it with an RJ45 cable to a DMX decoder. There are five easy steps. Step one is to plug in the Wi-Fi hub. Connect the Wi-Fi hub to a wall socket using the included plug-in adapter. The green light indicates that it's powered up. The blue light means it's communicating with your smartphone. Step two is to download the Easy Lighting app. Download the Easy Lighting app from the App Store. A link to this app is also available in the download section of the Wi-Fi Hub product page on AlloyLED.com. Step 3. Linking your phone to the Wi-Fi Hub. In your phone's settings section, connect to the Wi-Fi Hub via the unique Easy Lighting Network ID and enter the password that is printed on the back of the Wi-Fi Hub unit. Then go ahead and open the Easy Lighting app. Press the Settings button on the bottom of the screen in the app. Then click Connect Wi-Fi Hub Controller to Home Network. You will get a prompt that asks if your mobile phone is already connected to the Wi-Fi controller. Go ahead and hit Yes. Wait for the next screen to load and click your home network. Enter your network password, then click OK. You will see a prompt that lets you know that your configuration was successful. Click OK again. You may get another prompt. Just click OK. At this point, you will need to completely close down the Easy Lighting app. Step 4. Reconnecting to your home network. Now that your Wi-Fi hub recognizes your phone, you can connect back to your home network. Go to the settings section on your phone and reconnect to your home Wi-Fi network. Before you exit your phone's settings sections, it is important to confirm that the unique Easy Lighting Network ID has disappeared completely from your list of networks. Be patient, as this may take around 30 seconds. Now you can relaunch the Easy Lighting app and control your lights through your home network. Step 5. Setting up zones. First we'll do this with the wireless receiver. Touch the Room button at the bottom of the app. You can see you can save up to 8 unique zones. To set up Zone 1, tap Bedroom. You'll see a check mark. Then click Room again, and you'll see the color wheel. Give the Pairing button a quick tap, and then touch the color wheel. You'll see the lights flash, and then you'll be able to adjust to your favorite color. Now tap Room again, and uncheck Bedroom to set up a second zone. Our second zone will be the kitchen. I'll tap room once more to get to the color wheel. And for my second zone receiver, I'll click the pairing button and tap to get to my favorite color. Synchronizing multiple zones to the same color. You can check multiple boxes if you'd like to synchronize all of your zones to the same color. Then go ahead and adjust the color that you desire on the color wheel. If the shades of the selected color seem to vary slightly in different zones, touching the W button will synchronize to the same precise color. You could use one smartphone per Wi-Fi hub. If you need a second controller, you can utilize the Alloy LED wireless color controller as a second option in addition to the smartphone. You could also set up zones using DMX decoders. You can hardwire the Wi-Fi hub to a DMX decoder using an RJ45 cable. The cable can run up to 300 feet, which is ideal when you need to extend the range of your installation. First you install the three cables from your RJ45 cable in the back of the Wi-Fi hub. Alloy LED offers an RJ45 splice cable to make this easy. Then you can use one of Alloy LED's female RJ45 couplers to connect here. 
then you can custom cut your own specified length of RJ45 cable to run from your first decoder all the way back to your Wi-Fi hub. Then you can program the decoders to reflect the zones in your Easy Lighting app. As you can see from this screenshot on the app, you can program up to eight zones. Here is a list of the zones and the corresponding default zone names within the app. You can always rename the zones afterwards within the app and even update the images for each zone by clicking the setting button on the bottom of the screen and then clicking edit room information. To program each decoder, press and hold the first button until the decoder's digital interface starts to flash. At that point, you can set your first zone which for me is going to be 001. On my second decoder, I'm going to do the same thing. Looking at my chart, I know I need to be at 005. There we go. You can also save scenes in the app. A scene is a saved color or color pattern setting of your choice. Hit the Save button at the bottom of the color wheel screen, then hold S1 for a few seconds to save the current setting. You can save up to eight of these scenes per zone. To go back to the color, quick tap the scene number. 